Well, we start with the shame and disgrace at Pomwani Maternity Hospital, where women leaders led protests outside the maternity hospital after an undated video circulating on social media showed an expectant woman in labor writhing in pain after being turned away by the hospital guards, claiming no services were being offered. And as Chemutai Goen reports, women leaders are now demanding for action against the hospital management. Anger and disappointment are pro for many Kenyans. This following a video shared on social media platforms showing an expectant woman in labor writhing in pain outside the Pumwani Maternity Referral Hospital. <laughs> taxi driver who brought her to the facility and Kenyans whose attention was drawn by her screams left helpless. This happening right outside the gate of the Pumwani Hospital, a place expected to be a safe haven for expectant mothers waiting to hold their bundles of joy. Yet the gates remained shut. The guards mourning the facility denying her entry and even not offering to assist the helpless woman. Amid the confusion, Christine Gaki, a passerby who has no expertise in midwifery, came to her rescue. <laughs> Assisted her as she delivered the bundle of joy. A healthy baby girl whose entry into the world was filled with drama. <laughs> Gaki says the entire delivery process happened right outside the facility. This is until doctors from the care hospital, a private facility opposite the Pumwani hospital, came in right in the nick of time. A section of women leaders today taking the protest to the hospital, seeking answers on what transpired on Sunday the 13th. We want to go for who gave Ascaris at the gate instructions to close the gate and prevent mother, mothers from entering. The personnel within the hospital must be retrained so that nobody has to suffer. It doesn't matter whether you are high class or whether you are low class, but no woman needs to suffer when she's giving birth. We stand here today to say all mothers' lives matter, all our children's lives matter, regardless of what situation you are in or where you are in this country. The Nairobi Metropolitan Services, which runs the facility that has many a times hit the headlines for the wrong reasons, regrets the Sunday incident, saying it occurred at a time when nurses were on a go slow owing to delayed salaries, clarifying that normalcy has since been returned after a return to work formula was reached. At the maternity wards, which usually handles up to 15 deliveries per day, the effect of the ghost law was evident, empty corridors and beds, many who had been admitted having been discharged since there were no nurses to attend to them. The Parliamentary Health Committee, through its chair Sabina Chege, has also demanded an explanation.